Hello, ladies and gentlemen. God bless each and every one of you. It is Sunday morning. I am on my way to church. I hope uh, you all have had a blessed weekend so far and you are safe and sound wherever you're at in this big, great world of ours. Um, I know it's been a week since my last video, but spring is in full swing here in uh, my little landscaping company that I have, little uh, jobs I have really picked up this week and I just didn't have time to make a video and I was worn out. You know, you get used to sitting all winter just doing some odd things here and there and then all of a sudden April rolls around and everything starts piling in and you got to go from zero to a hundred and it's hard when you get older it gets harder to get going again but anyways um I want to talk about the sign of the times I want to talk about things lining up uh from the book of revelations uh, about the end times we know uh what the bible says in the book of revelations we know about the signs that are foretold to occur at the end times now I, I have done many videos uh, about the Antichrist and mainly about the Antichrist spirit which um, has to proceed before the Antichrist himself in other words uh, for people to accept wickedness for people to just ignore what they normally would not ignore the antichrist spirit comes along and sets them up in other words it gets you used to these perversions it gets you used to these abominations before god and so i'm a firm believer in that and i am a firm believer that we are seeing that today right now in the united states of america north america and throughout the whole world we, um, we know that uh, it says there's going to be wars and rumors of wars. We see this all over the globe. We see conflicts popping up. We see uh, threats of force against other nations if they don't bend to their will or they don't do this or they don't do that. We see other nations doing cyber attacks on other nations. That's an attack no matter how you want to look at it. When you attack a nation's infrastructure and try to cripple it via cyber space, that's an attack. It's the same as if you send troops across their border and tanks and planes and all of that. It's still, you're crippling that nation in some shape, form, or manner. So we're seeing a lot of this being put out throughout this world and in the United States we all know about these groups that are around that spread hatred that spread violence um, and they are very very well funded and they are going to continue to do these what I call terroristic attacks we're seeing this almost on a daily basis and if you don't think that that's not the Antichrist spirit coming forth then you need to go back and read what's in the New Testament. You need to go back and read in Revelations. You need to go back and read in the book of Daniel of what's to come. And we're seeing this. I keep saying it. Uh, we have groups today that are using threats, just a mere threat of the rioting or burning will send politicians we'll send our judicial system, we'll send our police force to their knees. They will bend to their will out of threat of violence. And again, if you don't think that that's not part of the Antichrist and the plan to disrupt, to divide, that is exactly what we are seeing. We are in a divided nation today, ladies and gentlemen, more than we have ever been before. Some people like to bring up the civil rights movement from the mid to latter part of the 1960s. Yes, there was a lot of turmoil, turmoil in the United States at that time. You had the Vietnam War protests going on. You had the shooting at Kent State with the National Guard. 
that killed a student, and I believe paralyzed another and wounded some others. So yes, it was a very uh, traumatic time in, in, in American history, but I do not liking that. What I mean is on the level of violence and hatred than I see now. You got to remember back then, a lot of these protests, there was a lot of people from the right, the left, whatever you want to call it, that were together, uniting. You don't see that in this form that we have today. This is not protesting, it is violence. And that, my friends, is not godly. That is not of God, that is of the devil. I've said it once, I'll say it a thousand times, you have to divide to conquer. And that is exactly what the devil is doing today in the United States of America. And they are falling for it hand over fist. They are, I liken it to a bull being led around by a nose ring. They're just being led around by Satan to do his will. And by them being so godless and being so anti-church, that it makes it easier for Satan to use these people to do what he wants them to do. So the signs are all around us. We see them on a daily basis. The thing is, a lot of people want to ignore them. A lot of people want to give examples. Oh, well, this happened, you know, at another time in history. Yeah, we've had violence in the United States and throughout this world. Absolutely, this is a a, a violent earth that we live on um, but when you put everything together in one specific time period as of today 2021 no you will not find everything that we have going today any point in time in the past simply fact that we've got a news media we have a social media that promotes this 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 hate-filled ideology this godless propaganda that they put out through the airwaves that was not uh in the 60s or 70s yes we had news media of course we did we had newspapers but it was not of the likes we have today back then there was three channels abc cbs and nbc and of course you had your big newspapers like the washington post the new york times the LA Times, the Chicago Tribune, so on and so forth. But that was their outlet. And the news has always been biased in one way or another, but we have never seen it of the likes that we have today. And my friends, that is why I'm telling you the signs are all around you. You need to open up your eyes, listen with your ears, and you will see that it is time that these things are occurring for a reason the Bible is not as some like to say just a bunch of stories put together in a book written some 2,000 plus years ago it, it's not there's a lot of non-believers that love using that as an example that it is just no more than any other book written back in the day this is the Word of God there's no other book that says that. There's no other book on the face of this earth that the words are written down on paper and those words come from our Creator, God Almighty, and His Son, Jesus Christ, in the New Covenant or the New Testament. There's no other book. This is why it is called the Word of God, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have to tell you that. You know that. The Holy Bible and these signs are being fulfilled right in front of us. A few years ago, we had several blood moons that we hadn't had in some 500 plus years, I believe. I'm, I think I'm pretty right on that. Uh, but as you know, in Revelations, it says the moon will turn as a blood red. And just so happens, these moons were called blood moons. Do you think that's a coincidence? No, my friends, it's not. Now, I believe the last blood moon we had was sometime around 2016, 17, somewhere around there, maybe 2015. So that's already been several years ago that that's occurred. These things are happening. 
I mean, you know, we got people out in the streets of America that will kill you just simply because they don't like the way you look. Usually in the past, there was a reason for a murder. It was theft. It was uh, robbery. Uh, it was revenge. Uh, it was like gang related or something. But nowadays, it's just because they don't like you. They don't like the way you look or maybe the way you you think or maybe you don't think the way they do or you don't vote the way they want you to vote or you don't line up with their wicked godless perverted ideology we've seen examples over the last couple summers where innocent people have been murdered because they didn't stand on that side of the aisle and then you have politicians calling out for or egging on the violence, including our media. If you do not think that that's not part of the end times, again, I ask you to go back and read what it says in the book of Revelations and parts of Daniel. You need to keep on top of these things. If you don't, you don't know what to look for. I'm telling you right now, the Lord is closer to coming back than at any time in history. I got into a discussion, uh, oh, this has been a while ago, it, was, it wasn't, wouldn't call it a, an argument, but it wasn't far from it, with a gentleman that tried to give me past examples, and the one he, he really uh, focused on was Adolf Hitler being the Antichrist, you know, uh, he, he claimed that he had already came and he's gone. Well, we know that's not the fact. We know what is to occur. And it did not matter what I read to him in the book of Revelations. It did not matter what I told him he was going to do in the temple in Jerusalem, proclaim that he was God. And then and there, Israel would realize that they had made such a horrid mistake. The Battle of Armageddon had not occurred. The war was going on, yes, but that was throughout Eastern Europe, Western Europe. The Pacific wasn't going on in Israel or the Middle East. Did they have battles? I'm sure they had some in in uh, uh, North Africa with Rommel and 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 the and the uh, the British and then the Americans went. But there's just people on this earth that's never going to believe that what we're seeing is part of the Bible. They're just not going to do it. Don't find yourself falling into that category. That's about all I got for you today. Please pray for this nation. We are in dire, dire need of God's intercession. We need God to intercede into this situation within America right now because I truly believe people are talking about 2024, the presidential election. I tell you what, if things continue to progress at the rate that they are progressing, with the border and, and all these domestic terrorist groups around and, and what they're doing, I don't believe we're going to have an America in 2024 because I believe the Lord will have came and raptured the church out by then. So as my pastor always likes to say, uh, get right or get left. And I always thought that was a pretty good play on words. What he's saying is get right with the Lord or you're going to be left behind. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you. I would like for you to subscribe. I do want 2021, this channel, to grow. Uh, you know, just get this out there to people. I know I'm not the most eloquent speaker on the face of the earth, not even close to it. And I know, again, I don't have all the bells and whistles and editing tools. It's not about that. It's about me making a video and telling you what the Word of God says and putting it into today's terms or correlating it with what's happening in the United States of America. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday, and I hope to see you in church. Bye-bye.